So guys, congratulations. So, Rodrigo, the last time I saw you, season one, we were talking about the show, and here you are, season three, which in dog years is like 112 years. <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be so exciting to be back. Guys, walk me through season three, Callaways, what happens? What trouble are you guys getting into? Ooh, you know, your <laughs> typical survivor's remorse. You know, we don't stop. We, uh, we <laughs> it's raw. It's raw. It's, it's real. hysterical. Yeah. It's, it deals with some very sensitive issues, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it flips those issues on their heads. It, we're not giving it to you straight. We, we come at it from a different angle and make, yeah. it, make you look at this um, with an, a different perspective. Yeah, um, yeah so. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I love about this show is when you look at the life of a superstar athlete, obviously we get to see, you know, what it's like for this family as they're hitting it big. But it really is all about family right now. And that's what this show is all about, family. Talk to me about the dynamic and really sharing this family with America and how it connects to pretty much everybody's family. It's probably my favorite aspect of the show. I enjoy those big scenes. They're a lot of work, but because it's a lot of moving parts yes. and, and uh, seldom <laughs> seldom are everyone doing the same thing. We're always, you know, you know, Missy's over here doing something, Reggie's doing something, Cam's doing something. So it's a lot of moving pieces when we all get together, but when it's all cut together, I always enjoy them the most because they're filled with so much energy and so much life. Um, I think you know, it's it's a family, and families do and say dumb stuff all the time, and you, you know, get you get to be, watch them grow. From yeah, it. that's what's beautiful about it. You know, they're gonna make mistakes, and they have to walk those mistakes back, and make public apologies, and and all that stuff. But Survivors doesn't shy away from it. You know, it's uh, the Callaways are an interesting group, and I think the Vaughns, although they lend a little balance, is just a little balance, and so as a result, you still get to see the crazy. That's why the I think people love the show is because they are so relatable. You can see your family yeah. in each of these characters. Yeah, I know I can. <laughs> Diversity is such an enormous topic right now in Hollywood. And obviously we have shows like Empire and Oprah has Greenleaf. She's killing it with that. But also at the forefront we have Survivor's Remorse. When you look at what this show is able to stand for, what it's able to do and promote and the message behind it, Walk me through that. What is it like being part of something like that? What I love about this show is that, like you said, we are a cast, predominant, a predominantly black cast, mm -hmm. and we are all, each of the characters are very different. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, particularly in this, in light of what's going on in the world right now, that it is so important to have that as a reflection on television for the masses to be able to consume, to see that we are humans, we are varied and different and we have feelings and we love and we hurt mm -hmm. and just like any other human or any other person or any other family. And uh, I, I love that Stars takes these very serious issues and lets this family deal with them. Um, and then sometimes it's just light and that's mm -hmm. also necessary. Just a, a black family, <laughs> but it's it's really about a family, but I'm, you know, we're black, so that's just there. Um, but just living a life and just being human yeah. beings, you know, and yeah, we can do that too. Yeah, I love being a part of this show. It just, uh, you know, whether I was in it or not, it was, it would definitely be a show I would support. You mm -hmm. know?